Hi everyone, so today I have a winter gym lookbook for you guys. I had so much fun preparing for this video. I love styling clothing and I ha just really liked putting together the outfits for today. I love mixing and matching different brands to come up with an outfit that is a little bit more unique. So the stuff that I'm showing you today is Gymshark. So I am a sponsored athlete with Gymshark, so they do send me all the stuff. I don't pay for it. Um, but I wouldn't be showing you guys if I wasn't absolutely in love with the items of clothing. Um, and I have picked out my favorites from the line to show you here today. I'll also be showing some pieces from Lululemon. Lululemon is a brand that I've been a fan of for years and I'm really familiar with their stuff. I'll also be showing you Nike and with Nike I'm a bit of a newer customer. Um, I haven't really bought them for the past couple of years but I really like the couple of pieces that I did get so I can't wait to show you guys. Then there's just a few other brands that I will give the details for when I get to them. So for each look, I'm showing kind of a base layer to start. So this would be kind of the least amount of clothing um, that you might get down to if you're getting warm in the gym. And then I'll be showing how I layer over those pieces to make it a little bit more appropriate for the winter. By no means is the final piece what I think should be the final layer for you. So if you live somewhere colder, um, or you just get cold easily, you might want to like add additional layers than what I've shown. All right, so I think that's everything I had to say, so let's get started. The first look that I'll be showing you today consists of the Gymshark Serene Bra in Blackberry and the Nike Power Legendary Legging in Purple Dynasty. Purple is so in right now for the winter. I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't super sold on it at first, but when I went to London and I was looking at some of the athletic wear, shops especially in the Nike store it was covered in this darker purple color as well as a lighter lilac color for both men and women i'm really into coordinating sets matching top and bottom so that's definitely shown through in these looks so for the Nike leggings they say that they're a mid-rise on the site but i find that they hit high on my waist and i find them just like a high rise or high-waisted legging and what i really like about them they have really cool paneling so there's stitching obviously and then there's different panels in, in different textures, but of the same color fabric. They are a bit on the pricier side. I originally bought them for 70 pounds, but I know they are on sale on the website now. I find the fabric to be really soft, but I do find it's like almost a little too giving. So it definitely doesn't like squish your butt, but it feels a little bit loose on. I prefer them with a little bit more compression, but other than that, I really love these leggings and I'm super impressed as a first time Nike legging buyer. I love the Gymshark Serene Bra. It has a really cool and unique neckline that you don't see very often. And I find it really stylish. It's also a longer line, so it does cover up a little bit more of your stomach um, as opposed to some uh, shorter crop tops. The Gymshark logo is contrast and it's in a magenta pink color. And aside from the band, the back is all mesh. It's made out of a soft athletic fabric that's stretchy. It's actually really similar fabric to the Nike leggings. It doesn't have any lining at all and it doesn't have any inserts. So it's kind of just like the bare fabric. So I've worn it with a tube bra underneath and I know other people have mentioned that they've taken inserts out of other bras and put them underneath the serene bra and it worked fine. And I've decided to layer this look with the gray cropped a more London sweater that I actually mentioned in my previous video. I think it goes really well and it looks stylish. Moving on to the second look. I know, I'm very creative with the name. So this look consists of the Gymshark Serene Bra in Lagoon Blue, as well as the Gymshark Fit Leggings, also in Lagoon Blue. So for the bra, it's the same deal as the Blackberry one that I just showed you guys. It has the high neckline, the large waistband, and the mesh back. The Gymshark logo is in a contrast mint color, which actually goes great with the leggings. So I have it paired with the Gymshark Fit Leggings again in Lagoon Blue and contrasted with the mint, so it is perfect. And just so that you guys know, the fit leggings are not actually on the website yet, so don't panic if you don't see them, but keep an eye out for them because they will be coming out soon. These leggings are actually meant to be low rise, but I've actually kind of hiked them up a little bit because I obviously prefer my leggings to sit a bit higher on my waist and to kind of go over my hips. Because they're meant to be lower rise, the band is actually a bit bigger because um, they're supposed to sit over your hips, so it will be a bit looser if you do pull it over your hips, as you can kind of see on me. On the interior of the band, they have 
like the line of silicone it's like a double line the same type of thing that you get on a strapless bra so it helps keep the band in place i actually consider these leggings more of a tight because they are a nylon knit meaning that it's the same material that you get for like black tights that you would pull on but it is a really thick knit and high denier i think they had like one that was like run legging um, that was really similar but since then they've made the fabric a lot thicker um, and it's super soft and I haven't had any problems at all with sheerness although I would recommend that if you're between sizes you go to the next size up and I've chosen to layer this look with the Gymshark seamless long sleeve in mint I think it goes really nice with the waistband. Again, I just love when things match and I just think this is super cute together. All right, so look number three. This look consists of the Gymshark Fit leggings in Blackberry, paired with a Nike Pro padded sports bra in Fog slash Purple Dynasty. As for the Fit legging, it's the same deal as I mentioned in the previous look. Super soft fabric, and I'm loving this dark purple color, and I really like how the waistband is a pale gray in contrast. I really like how they feel on my body and I can just tell that they're going to be a fave for sure. So let's talk about this bra. I'm obsessed with the colors. Again, it's the lilac -y color purple. This one's like a muted, almost like grayish purple, which I love. It goes super well with the waistband, I think. And then I love the elastic band at the bottom of the bra. It's striped dark purple elastic with a sheer, almost iridescent it's really hard to explain but it's super cute i also really like how the logo is laser cut perforation i think that's super unique i'm not a huge fan of the like light orange contrast that you can see through the perforation it kind of looks skin tone i think it would look better if it was purple and i've decided to layer this look with a self-cropped gymshark hoodie now i know this won't be everyone's cup of tea and it's not super practical but I was really inspired by the more London crop sweaters. One of them was essentially the same thing and it was a cropped hoodie with a raw edge cut at the bottom. Again, not super practical, but I think it's really cute. Next up is look number four. I could stay like this. I'm in love with this look. I think it looks really nice and put together and it's just an easy kind of throw on set that you know is going to go and look really nice at the gym. Shown, I have the Gymshark Seamless Bra in Plum, paired with the Gymshark Sculpture Leggings, also in Plum. This bra is the most comfortable bra that I own. I find that the straps just, I'm actually wearing it right now, and I find that the straps just, you like, you can't feel them at all, but I still feel really nice and secure in the bra, so it's just like, I don't know, I find that some of my Lululemon bras are just too tight on the traps and I've been having a little bit of trap pain lately so just any extra pressure has been giving me like more pain and more headaches so I've been reaching for these bras like every gym session. This bra also does come with inserts as well and lining which is perfect. I love the design of the Gymshark Sculpture Leggings. The seaming is really nice, it's flattering, they feel comfortable on. I love that they're a true high-waisted legging. And it comes with pockets. There's a pocket on each side of the legging and it does fit an iPhone 6 or 7 Plus. I've shown here putting my iPhone 7 Plus case in my legging because mine has yet to arrive. It's been like weeks and I think it was just dispatched so I'm patiently waiting for it to get here and in the meantime I just have this case. <laughs> so that's what I've used to illustrate. The fabric on the sculpture leggings is really really nice. It's similar in the softness as the Nike fabric although I find it's a little bit thicker and it is a little bit more compressive but at the same time it doesn't like squish your butt in it has enough give to just allow your butt to take its natural shape i really find that it has the perfect ratio between give and compression and of course i've decided to layer this look with a gymshark long sleeve seamless in plum i find the gymshark seamless is a lot thicker than other seamless that i felt it's form fitting and it hugs the body in a really nice way all of the long sleeves do come with thumb holes which i know is a favorite i'm obsessed with thumb holes i love it because it obviously it holds the sleeve in place but it also just feels like a little bit more cozy so i love it for the winter and just for fun i've topped off this look with a 
fur pom-pom beanie that I actually got from Misguided, and I just think it looks super cute and wintry. On to the fifth look. Just don't get too far enough. Yes! Drum roll, please. My favorite, the Gymshark Flex Leggings. Paired with the Plum Seamless Bra Slash Crop again this time. I'm not gonna lie, when I first saw these leggings in purple, I was just kind of like, mm, I'm not really sure. I hadn't seen like a purple and pink color combination for a while. Um, definitely not one that I was fond of. But honestly, these leggings have grown on me so much. I've been wearing them the most out of any of the leggings and it's easy when there are lots of options for Gymshark to match with this color. So if you haven't heard of or tried the Gymshark Flex leggings before, they are an internet sensation by now. I actually saw on eBay that one of the older styles of Flex, I think it was in the Sorbet pink color, sold for a hundred US dollars. So that's crazy because I think the original legging is like 35 US dollars. That's how in demand they are. And what makes these leggings unique and popular is what I like to call the booty contour. There's darker paneling that wraps around your curves. So it essentially just contours areas that you want to dip in and therefore highlights the areas that you want to pop. A darker band under the butt is going to make your butt look a lot bigger. These leggings really make the booty, the hammies, and the calves pop. And as you can see, they are super flattering. They're basically an illusion compared to the other leggings that I've shown so far. So the fabric on the flex leggings is a thick, stretchy, marl knit. I find it's very thermal, so I actually don't find myself wearing them as much in the summer because I will sweat more in them, but I find them so perfect for the winter and I would wear them every single day if I could. The fabric is actually very giving, so it does not squish the butt at all. It essentially lets you be free, which means that they're so comfy for leg day and they're definitely my first choice when I'm doing squats and stuff like that. They do sit higher on the waist than the fit leggings that I showed previously, but they might be like a little bit lower than the sculpture leggings, but it's really easy to adjust the height of the leggings to whichever you like. I like to pull mine up so that they go over my hips. The only thing with the flex leggings is they do tend to have a little bit more fabric around the front slash the crotch area, so you can sometimes get like creasing around your crotch <laughs> um, slash like a little bit of just extra fabric. It's not uncomfortable whatsoever, but like you, you'll see some lines. So I just thought I'd let you guys know. And I couldn't help myself for the second layer. I wanted to throw on the long sleeve. I just think the double marl is so cute. It's almost like it looks cozy and comfortable and it just looks very wintry to me. So the next two looks that I'll be showing you guys are lighter colors. I really like wearing light colors in the winter because it like gets dark early and the mood of the winter is bleh and I find wearing bright colors helps lighten up and brighten up my mood. The first of the two looks is what I'm calling winter whites. I love all white looks for the winter. I find they just look so clean and bright and nice. So I'm excited to show you guys what the look consists of. So the bottoms are aloe yoga goddess leggings. I love these leggings. The contrast bottom gives the illusion of an over the knee look, which is super in style right now. And I love that I can incorporate it into my gym wear. The top white fabric is a classic yoga kind of stretchy fabric. And then the bottom is a pale gray ribbed knit that's super stretchy and it also feels athletic but i just want to say wear white leggings at your own risk they are definitely not squat proof and i don't even think that they are stand proof but i love the look of them and i just prefer to wear them on an upper body day just to avoid any word your mouth functions and my only small issue with them is that they are kind of a low-waisted legging. If they made these in high waist, I'd be so happy. And the bra that I paired the leggings with is a Lululemon bra. I'm not sure the name of it. I've had it for a while now, just over the summer. I really like the seaming detail on it and I like that it's long line. This one is actually one of my more comfortable Lululemon bras. And oh, I've layered this look with a Lululemon long sleeve crop. It's called a Lululemon scuba top. They usually bring this 
out in the summer, I think. I actually had this one over the summer and I just haven't worn it yet. I just make sure to subscribe to their email and I look at the emails when they come in and if there's anything cool or unique, I know it's gonna sell out super fast. So I just like buy it right away. So that is my suggestion if you are looking for something like this. And I just love the detail of this top. It has solid panels and then it's contrasted with perforated ones. And I just think that's so cool. And I love how it ties the whole white look together. And and for the second lighter look. I have the Gymshark seamless crop in mint and the Gymshark flex leggings in pale gray and mint. The same goes as before with the bra. It's super comfy yet supportive. And I just think it matches so well with these leggings. Obviously the band is mint as well, so it's the same color. And I just love the look of the light mint with the light gray. And everyone knows the lighter color your leggings, the more it shows off the butt. And it's always nice that the flex leggings give you a little bit of help in that department. And you might think because they're a really light gray legging, you'll see sweat, but you actually don't at all. The fabric isn't cottony at all, and I find you only see sweat with like cottonier type fabrics. This one I sweat so much in and you do not see anything. Naturally, I've chosen to layer this look with the mint seamless. These ones, it looks super cute together, and this is another one of those thermal, cozy, cute gym outfits, but this time in a lighter, brighter color. Okay, moving on to the last look. I really wanted to include all black options in my lookbook. I definitely have those days where I just wanna go into the gym and not get noticed, and I want to just like fade into the shadows. So on those days, I definitely find myself wanting to wear more black. For the first all black look, I have the Gymshark Flex Leggings in all black. The paneling, I think it's in black, but you can kind of see the difference, like they shine differently in the light, so you do still get a little bit of that contouring effect. And for the bra, it's another one of the Gymshark seamless ones. This one's in black merle. And as you guys can probably tell by now, I love the look and the feel of head to toe seamless. So I've decided to layer this look with the Lululemon Swiftly Tech long sleeve. I'm not gonna lie, this is my favorite black long sleeve seamless. The seamless fabric is a little bit thinner on this one. I just find that it doesn't feel constricting at all. It almost gives you like a free naked feeling if that makes sense. And I really like how the sleeves are longer on this one so I don't feel like there's any pulling kind of in the armpits. I like that there's like a little bit extra fabric at the bottom because I kind of have longer <laughs> It is a little bit more on the pricey side. This one is around 80 US dollars. So it's more of an investment piece and you definitely have to take really good care of it. Because of the fabric, it does pick and pill really easily. So just be wary of that. There's silver woven into the fabric. So silver has antibacterial properties. So when silver fibers are woven in with regular fabric, if you sweat in it, it won't like start to smell over time. It's really useful if you hot yoga and stuff like that. And the second all black look, I have the Gymshark Serene bra in black. This one, the Gymshark logo is actually in black as well and it's just like a bit shinier. So it's more of a discreet logoing, which I think is cool. And on the bottom, I'm wearing the Gymshark sculpture leggings in black. I think these are the quintessential black leggings that every girl should own. Own. They're super affordable. They're 36 pounds on the website, but of course they're having the big sale that's going on right now. So definitely pick up a pair now if you want to save. The material is really great quality and really soft. And like I said before, it's the perfect ratio between enough give so that it doesn't flatten your butt and um, enough compression so that they just feel like hugged on your body. And most importantly, they come with the side pocket. So this is super useful if you like to listen to music when you train because you can just throw your phone in the pocket and it stays put really well. Finally, I've decided to layer this look with an Adidas cropped hoodie. This one I think I bought from Urban Outfitters. The Adidas logo is really in right now, so I just think it ties together the look really well. That is everything that I have for you guys today. That is all of the looks. Ooh, I'm exhausted and my throat is actually kind of drying out because I feel I've been I feel like I've been talking forever But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you got some ideas for how to style your gym clothing Again, if you wanted to purchase any of the Gymshark stuff and actually click through my link that's in the description It just tracks how many people click through it doesn't actually pay me or anything like that but I just figured I would 
leave it there for you guys. Since it's Black Friday weekend, Gymshark is having an enormous sale across their entire site. It's up to 50% off everything. So if you are interested in buying any of the Gymshark stuff, now's the time to do it because this is their biggest sale of the entire year. I feel like I've done my duty as an athlete. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video and might have got some ideas on how to coordinate your gym outfits. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And if you're not already, please subscribe. I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.